One of my favorite parts of my recent author interview with a debut author, Tazane Smith, as we talked all about her new memoir coming out in October, Bad Girl, Home is Where the Bag Is, was her amazing and exceptional excerpt that she read from during our interview. Her writing style was very beautiful and poetic and descriptive, and so I wanted to let you guys all listen to it. If you haven't watched the full author interview over on YouTube, definitely check it out, but watch a short clip of where she reads her excerpt from her book, and you can learn a little bit more about her through this, and definitely give her a follow if you aren't already her book bad girl home is where the bag is is available on amazon and barnes and noble for pre-order so definitely check that out too so i understand you have prepared an excerpt to read from your memoir i'm really excited to hear it i do so i thought i'd read the prologue of my book um so the prologue is christmas eve 2020 and it starts out as there is a safety and familiarity, even if what's familiar isn't what you consider ideal. It was what I reminded myself of as I pulled into the Motel 6 parking lot. I looked up at the neon sign that cast a faint sickly glow on the faded asphalt below. The brick was also faded, and the structure that housed the broken, the broke, and just plain dejected was looking like a forgotten slice of the town everyone simply drove by. But to me, that was it. This was the familiar. It often came to feel like home for only the simple fact that I have found peace here many times over the last few years in my 20s. Falling short of what popular sitcoms and songs have promised me in a small, snug room that had no space for toxicity to creep in and catch me unguarded. I had to pay either nightly or weekly to be the master of my own domain. However small the domain might be, it was more than many others could claim for themselves. For the homeless out on the street, to those crowded in shelters, I was lucky to be in neither category, though at this moment, luck felt like it was in a short supply. On this night, as Christmas Eve slowly faded into Christmas Day, this safe haven beckoned me to come in after I'd fucked up badly earlier in a day with my Nana. I had a place with her, and now I didn't. Like a damn split open, my anger and my PTSD from the life lived as if walking on broken glass filled to the apartment we were both yelling at each other and I had no option but to pack myself and leave. So I'm in the door on her obscenities and disappointments. The memory of how the day had started sat behind my eyes, singing. I shook my head as if I tossed the images aside, but to no avail. Instead, I felt a dull headache coming on, and the shaking only exasperated the throbbing. Stories began to fall, and for a moment, I reveled at the perfect timing of it to come down on Christmas Eve. But then, as if someone flipped a switch, I suddenly thought, who gives a shit? Around me, my car was packed with my belongings, and I sat among them, tucked in behind the wheel like another object in the heat. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I love your writing style. It's so descriptive and emotional. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yay. I can't wait to read it. <laughs> I can't wait to read the whole thing. I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering, and the audience needs to, too. It sounded amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. So how was it writing something that was so personal to you? Um, at first, it was a little nerve-wracking, and it made me think if I was doing the right thing at, at the moment or if I should just put this aside and just keep dealing with my issues. But then I found the more as I was writing, it became healing to me. So I figured if I can just get this out, I feel a lot better about myself and about my trauma and about my issues. And if I felt this way, other people that were in my same shoes could feel the same way as well. Yeah, I love that. I love when I hear people when I do interviews and I've had a couple of people who have like gone through really hard things in their life and when they're able to take their pain and make it into something beautiful that can help other people, like that is the most beautiful thing you can do with anything that's <laughs> handed to you. And so that's really inspiring and it makes me really, really happy to hear that. 